talk when I say not before. Tovarish. Sergey. My nigga. <laughs> You're losing weight. Shit. You're down to nothing. In this country, supermarkets are cathedrals. I worry for you, buddy. <laughs> How your people's dog? Sam? Good? Hey, you talk to the man about that other thing, right? Because I can get behind that business in a big way. We'll talk later. Now another business. Right, right. It's the man with the raggedy-ass Camaro. Wasn't mine, it was my cousin's. Wasn't all that raggedy. Sorry. Nick is with us, his cousin. But the family cannot be helped. Who you telling? I got motherfucking nephews and in-laws fucking all my shit up all the time. And it ain't like I can pop a cap in their ass and I hear about it Thanksgiving time. For real. I'm living life with some burdensome niggas. So what the fuck? You ain't pay my boy cheese and cheese ain't paying me, right? I ain't talking about all the money in the world. But it ain't like cheese being a position out on that corner to let your cuz exemplify shit. You feel? The man cut you some slack and soon every fucking up white boy be on his titty. We want to pay what we owe. 27 anyway. And we're going to have it soon enough. Your man doubled it, though. He also burned the car. Now, the blue book on that Camaro is 51. Now, let me understand. You going to come up in here having fucked up a package, asking me to tell Cheese who you fucked it up on to pay you out $2,400. He gets to keep the Camaro. Just how good a friend is this motherfucker to y'all? The Cheese ain't going to be happy having to pay me back. So I would advise y'all to give him some distance. Just so we don't come back on my cousin. Anyway, thanks for being straight on this. Fool. If it wasn't for Sergey here, you and your cousin both would be cadaverous motherfuckers. <laughs> 